Can you people help me ask this man? How does who he is affect the price of our gege bread? Give me light. No way. Give me water. No way. Give me education. No way. Give me health. No way. I've done the contract. Pay me my money. No way. And on top of that, you still want me to bow to you? Haba! Is it juju? Honestly, if we have all been sitting down in this room, if you are the reason this meeting did not start on time, we have all been here waiting for you to arrive. When you finally arrive, are you not supposed to arrive with begging? Please, I'm so sorry for keeping you all waiting. I'm so, so sorry. Please forgive me. Is that not how a human being is supposed to arrive? Instead, when you finally saunter in, two and a half hours after the meeting was supposed to start, with your entourage, still, we're all supposed to rise majestically to our feet and begin to applaud because you call yourself a principality. On top of the poverty and unemployment, your incompetence in office is inflicting on us. We're still supposed to carry your bag, open your gates, call your ga, call you Madame Haba. Is it juju? Rubbish and nonsense. See, this country provokes the believer in me. And I stand here to accuse all of us of idolatry. But the deities we worship in vain for protection and healing are not juju figures hidden in the floorboard and ceiling. Tell me, what do you call a ministry of health that has no hospitals? Or a minister of education that provides no schools? Or his excellency, the governor, that cannot pay salaries? Or a powerful police force that catches no thieves? Tell me, what do you call a ministry of housing that bestows no housing? Or a ministry of works when nothing is working? Or a strong man whose people, though homeless and jobless, still come out each time to vote him en masse? See, this country provokes the believer in me. And I stand here to accuse us of idolatry. But the deities we worship in vain for protection and healing are not juju figures hidden in the floorboard and ceiling. Tell me, what do you call a people who sing the praises of leaders in a country of broken roads, no light and armed robbers, or a young man who gives his blood the campaigning for a politician who will not even let him know when CBN is employing? When the road to the farm to the home grows thinner, but the people in charge grow fresher and fatter. But the man oppressed is still first in line to welcome the oppressor when he rolls into town. See, this country provokes the believer in me, and I stand here to accuse us of idolatry. But the deities we worship in vain for protection and healing are not juju figures hidden in the floorboard and ceiling. No. We carry their bags. We open their gates. We swerve to one side so they pass on the roads. We call them madame. We call them orga. We fall to the ground and heal them baba. <laughs> we laugh at their jokes. We follow their drama. We quickly forgive them for no light and water. We transfer their funds. We carry their guns. Our idols are human. We know all their names. So, to the kings and queens of the garbage dump, to strong men of states without roads or hospitals, to leaders who flex while a nation is dying, I've come to announce me, I'm tired of kneeling. For a God of thunder that cannot thunder and a ministry of power that gives no power, no matter how you may want me to phrase this, they both belong to the category of the useless because them get I, but them no they see. Them get E, yeah, but them no they hear. Them get the hand, but them no they walk. Cha cha see them mouth, oh, now so 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 talk. Man made gods, man made gods. <laughs> Man made gods, man I will never worship, never worship, 
I beg, carry your own bag. Open your own gates. Why can't you fly economy? Why can't you join the queue like me? I will never worship. Never worship. I will never worship. Mm -hmm. ah, see, I say this country provokes the believer in me. And I stand here to renounce this idolatry of bowing to empty orgas and madams who do not have eyes or ears to hear us, to fear us. From today, I save my worship for those who work hard to ensure our women don't die in childbirth, to see that the gas in the ground finds its way to turbines that turn to bring power to our people's homes. I save my worship for those leaders who care that our children go to school and their teachers are there, that hospitals have drugs and our people have jobs. From today, I save my worship for those leaders who serve. Never worship. I beg, carry your own bag. Open your own gates. Why can't you fly economy? Why can't you join the queue like me? I will never worship. Never worship. I will never worship. 